Do you feel any guilt for you play Omek? I don't. I don't feel guilty because what people don't understand is what happened behind the scenes. Like, people don't know what happened behind the scenes as far as that, that situation. So, um, I don't expect y'all to understand. And, you know, the thing that I, that I don't like, though, is that, you know, you don't know everything. So then you comment and then you have your opinion. And that's fine. But... You don't have all the details, so it's like weird that you even commenting on this question. Though I don't have regret because everything, how everything played out between that situation, me and Omega, we came to a, 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 an agreement and understanding. We came to an, an understanding with each other, and we had a very mature conversation. Bye. We had a very um, mature conversation. Because one thing that I one thing that I don't set out to do in life is to bring confusion or hurt in anybody's world. That's not the type of person I am. If I come into your world, I want to enhance you. I want to, you know, make it better for you. I don't want to, like, bring you down or create, you know, like, any type of animosity or negative energy or anything like that. Because that's just stupid. You know, that's weird. Um, that's your lower self. So... Um, when me and him had the, the mature conversation, like when I finally did decide like what I wanted to do, I told him exactly why I didn't want to be in a relationship with him. Um, I told him exactly, you know, what I was looking to do in my life. And, and that's just the way that I, that I went. You know, he seemed to understand in that moment to me. And that's all I took from that situation. You know, now what he's doing online, what he's saying, and if he feels any type of way, he's created that world for himself that had nothing to do with me. And I told him that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, if you feel a certain way, you're creating it for yourself. Because we already have an understanding. You understand? So, uh, only only I and Omega will know the truth about what happened at the end of our relationship and how everything unfolded. But, I mean, hey... It's not your life to comment on or to say anything about because you weren't, you weren't there, you know? So, I mean, you, you don't think what you want anyway at the end of the day, so it is what it is, but I don't feel guilty. I feel like I handle everything proper. Sorry, Chief. Um, I'm going through some allergic reaction after eating during Thanksgiving. Um, but I just want to ask one question. What part of Africa are you trying to go? I can't like, what tell country? You that. Okay. Well, you I know, think... We're not, you know, we're not at liberation to tell you that. People people be finding out our stuff and trolling us. And we can't tell you that. I we can gonna, understand we're gonna, that. We're going to be dropped off and hidden. There's no that. I, I do... What I have to say about that, I think it's the perfect place to go. With that, I'm from I'm part Egyptian and from Sierra Leone, so I think that I'm from Africa. So I believe that that country in Africa is the best place for you guys to go, because that's where we all came from anyway. That's a fact. So um, I just want to say um, because I was actually having a conversation with um, I don't know who I was having because that was couple of months ago but i um i was asking about because i do practice waiting until marriage and as an african woman we do believe that in africa so um when you were talking about having multiple wives i came from a family that had multiple wives my grandfather was from sierra leone had seven wives and he was a king so and i have right now i have so much like aunts and cousins he had 30 uh 26 children so i understand where you're coming from with that but at the same time um on his last days he did kind of realize that his first wife that was his first love he realized what you and nana are going through so i definitely understand where you're going that coming from then i understand completely where you're coming from as well um but i just feel like you guys should fuck the haters do what you have to do you guys realize that you both love each other that's what matters 
So, <laughs> I mean, people are going to talk shit anyway. If you do good, if you do bad, that's just human. <laughs> but I feel like Africa is definitely the best place to go and to grow as a human being because that's where we all came from. We're all black. So, I don't know. Some people said, oh, African is more. Um, black people are just meant to stay in the United States or any other country. Africa is where we all came from. And that's where we're all connected to. So I do believe that that's the, definitely the best place for you guys to move to. That's a fact. That's what I kept getting. Yeah. That's what I have to say. And I, I'm so happy, Nana. You both look like you're in love. And I, I pray that it continues. And I wish you two the happiest. And That's your baby fact. is gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Man, I was watching Freddy Krueger. They <laughs> over there watching Nightmare on Elm Street. And it's dark too. No, 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 no. I was I'm trying to see like say because why does it matter because you came back and why does it matter then when I was or everybody the other wives got a problem with you. I feel like shit. Everybody loves who they love and they can't stop. They can't control who they care about. No, no, you for keep doing what you're doing. You back, I'm happy you back. And what made you come back? Because I love you. Exactly. That's good. That's a good thing. Can't nobody help with your love. Can't nobody help with your love. And for everybody that's saying, oh, Lord, can't you apologize to the tribe? I don't feel like you got to apologize to nobody. At the end of the day, she, you, you're not with that. And if you're not with that, then she, they can move around if they don't like it. And another thing, what happened to Rock? Because it seemed like she got some, she feels some type of way about it. Nah, everybody, everybody is okay. Zion, Zion is strict. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Well, I'm happy you're back. I've been look good. Y'all look happy together. And can't, no, can't nobody tell y'all nothing about child love life or try to tell you what to do or what not to do. And shit, it is what it is. Evidently, you didn't want to be where you at and you came back to where you want to be at. Exactly. So I'm happy for y'all. I'm thankful. That's a fact. And fuck everybody else or whoever got a problem with what y'all got going on? That, and what you believe in? That is, that is, you believe in what you believe in, and can't nobody else stop that? It is what it is. they want to know. Y'all look like because every time you look up, they they in y'all shit. They watching y'all stuff. So shit, it is what it is. You back, you back. You which whom you want to be with, and whoever the other nigga was. <laughs> Right now, I'm live. I'm live. But I'm glad you're back and nice seeing you and nice talking to you. All right, I'm glad you're back. People, these people in the home ladies. Y'all weird, but I mean, they just trying to get a reaction. I've been on the other side of that phone. You be just trying to get a reaction from people. You want to say the coolest comments. People want to be acknowledged, man. People want attention. People want to be the number one troll. People want to be the person that gets your attention says the thing that triggers you 
that's the whole thing about the comment section. The comment section, it was supposed to be for a light crowd, like, you know, a couple people in the room. When it gets to be up to like 500, 600 people, it's a contest to see who can say the thing that makes everybody laugh or who's to say the thing that could get everybody to read their comment or get you to read their comment. Then you win. So it's a contest. But to all of those people that are just being positive and sending out positive energy toward us, we appreciate y'all. Absolutely. Because I was the guy in the, in the, in the, in the I was the guy before we had a lot. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, oh, what are we doing? Can I? <laughs> Look at our daughter. <laughs> she said. Yeah. 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 How you guys doing today? Another awesome. beautiful day together. Yes, yes, yes. So look, I have, I wanted to jump on yesterday when y'all was, um, going ham about this polygamy versus monogamy conversation but i didn't my phone had died and i didn't get to jump in but i do want to say this what was the pressure that built up originally that we won't face again so there won't be the same type of hurdles like i'm curious to know like what challenges that you guys can foresee in the near future that you're already going to be able to come back because i mean two or three years in a relationship I'm battling a, a love relationship right now for seven years with two childs involved. My own child was came first and then his child came. And my thing is, is that's an infatuation stage, right? So when you, you know, you're, you're, you're in a euphoric feeling right now early on because she's back and you yearn for something that was missing that, that void. So how do you kind of prepare for the remaining challenges that's to come? And be okay. No, nah, that's the thing. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Chief. Hold on, because this is question with Nana. So I need, I need, I, I talked to you several times. So I need to get some, some feminine understanding for real. Because I believe in polyandry, right? So I say that because I'm a natural nurturer, and most people come with jealousy, it's just a natural part of being human. And I told you last time, when you're not battling with jealousy, bitterness, resentment, anger, frustration, all of those human type of emotions, then it just kind of allows that person to love naturally. And because I love naturally, I, I, don't, see, I don't see polygamy as just a form of like, yo, chief, go have sex with somebody else or da da da. Like, there's emotional connections that I'm assuming that's still amongst the household, right? There's, there's intellectual connections that's still amongst the household, especially when your eyes are, are, are still perceiving, you know, memories that came. So how do you prepare for something that, you know, there's still, there's still um, challenges. Okay. Oh, I, can't, I don't I can't know the real reason why you left in the beginning. The real reason why I left it was because of polygamy. I, I had a problem with it because I felt like that there wasn't an emotional connection between him and the other women. Though I do know that there is a mental connection between him and everyone here, but that's different, you know, from an emotional and mental connection. I have a, a mental and emotional connection with him as far as intimacy. No, and, let, and, let, and let me be clear about this because when you talk about an emotional connection, I think that he also has emotional connections with everyone here too because everyone loves him. And and we feel we feel what he feels if he's going through something and everything like that. What I'm what I'm specifying between me and the other the other um tribe members here is that I have, I am intimate with him. You understand what I'm saying? Like we look in each other's eyes and want to kiss and want to have sex and you know what I'm saying? It's like that is that type of relationship which brings more out of our relationship as far as growth. The things that we trigger in each other that we need to grow from, whether it be uh, emotionally being immature or trying to express ourselves intellectually through our emotions, no matter what, what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's definitely a, a, a soul evolution that's happening between Chief and I that 
is not necessarily happening with him and everyone else in in, in combination to that degree. You understand? Because right. if that was the case, then we would all be intimate with each other. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that's not realistic. That is that's not realistic. And as far as you know, um, maybe for the other women, or even I, at times, if I like may go back in my mind and think about what happened in the past and start feeling those feelings and then you know what if he triggers me and I see some you know those type of things first of all before we got back into our relationship we sat down and we discussed all of that in combination we teach that communication is 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 necessary <laughs> in whatever you do because if there is no open communication with details then it's bound to fail Anything is bound to fail. So before we could continue our relationship, we sat down and we talked about everything. I mean, open heartedly, and it was just a, a pure, just trying to understand and get to, you know, get to the the resolution of what it is that we need to come to in order to sustain the relationship that we had. And so that was one of my one of my fears was like, you know, what if, you know what I'm saying? And and the thing is, is that. It's not. It's only something that is you're gonna have to do, and see the outcome. She's paused. Okay. So um, yeah. We we sat down. We had a. Uh, she got. She she left. It, it started messing. But we sat down, we had a conversation about everything, about fears, and, you know, even even, even in his own mind, there's things that goes on as far as what I did to him that makes him think about certain things, and it's really something that you have to experience and just go along with the experience. Mm. is to, to find out and to li to act all right they jungle wi-fi acting up probably a bunch of mumbo jumbo and moving us in the right direction you understand know and if anything comes up within that time span we simply just calm you know calm ourselves down and talk about whatever it is and you can say that um the be the relationship that chief and i have is crazy or toxic or whatever you can you can call it whatever you want but what's there is love at the end of the day and whatever we have to Someone do said, to develop our relationship to to Someone a, a point like where financial advice from everything is head. balanced then that's what we're going to do because every relationship is not 100 percent kosher everything doesn't it's not that way do you understand what i'm saying so what you're seeing between Chief and I is, is stuff that happens on an everyday basis, things that people are going through on an everyday basis, and things that some some adults that's, you know, more seasoned than I and even Chief don't even have the, the tools or the knowledge to be able to deal with. So you're watching us. You should be learning from how we're dealing with our situation with each other and when it comes um, to our relationship. Now, if any of the other women feel emotional ways about chief and i that's something that they sit down and you talk call, to us about me a narcissist. i did call you a narcissist because at that time the <laughs> that's how we're flirting you know you know what's funny is because in, in that time i was like i was trying to create all of the bad things that i could because i was so hurt like i was really hurt that because i felt you faked it I feel like, I, I feel like, and this is what I was explaining to you last night, I feel like it wasn't a matter of faking it more than it unraveled, more than, more than everything just unraveled, because I know that online everybody sees me and they're like, you say this and then you say that and then you say this and then you say that, and it's like, I, I in my mind, uh, sometimes I can read too deep into stuff and it can make 
make me like see the negative in things and I can go there like I can go there and then there's another side of me where I can be totally understanding and I'm learning how to especially when I'm mad I go straight to the negative or when I'm frustrated or angry I go straight to the negative my Mars is in the 12th house so I the way that I deal with things could be very confusing and very like you know off but because I know that my Mars is in the 12th house you know, babe is my strength when it comes to that's you know, that part of myself. So in those moments where I may feel triggered or hurt or anger or every, anything of that that would strike me to be negative, I have to calm myself down in the moment and talk about what it is that's on my mind instead of, you know, going straight there. But the reason why I called him a narcissist is because in that moment in time, I felt like he wanted everything his way, like literally. But what I realized after, you know, everything unraveled and, you know, everything coming to an understanding, and then we had conversations and everything like that. It was a, yeah, because, of, like, look, let me tell you, because people was really, like, people from Wild, from Wild Portal do, they'll be like, yo, you want everything to be your way, and that's it. Like, you, you don't. You know, they think that I don't we take that into consideration or what they say into consideration. And I don't because I feel like what, what's for me, I, I have the best decisions for me. And, and I say that because of the decisions that I've made for myself. I'm living the life that I want to live. I'm, I love what I do. I have the husband that I want. I have the family that I want. I'm in the environment that I want. So and you're both narcissists and our daughter is a narcissist too. And, yeah, because she has to have her way. You know, and I think that I think that everybody has an inkling of narcissism within themselves because if you didn't then you no 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 only us only us shit well i'll speak for we myself. are we are and our daughter is we just a group we just a family of narcissists we a narcissistic family but it's just funny it's just funny and the reason why i say that is because when you look at when you look at the industry right and you see all these singers and all these people and stuff like that you have to have like you have to be a narcissist to live in that industry, like, and it's in a negative way. You understand? We're being a narcissist in a good way, like you know, we're creating a, a healthy environment. We're creating a healthy environment for people. But if you don't agree with that, then that's you know that's your option, that's your choice. We're yeah, not gonna force man, you to do anything. We think narcissists birth. We birth narcissists. That, that's how we gotta keep them alive in the world. Somebody's gotta be a narcissist, bro. Damn, bro. I'm a narcissist because I don't want. I don't Our daughter is a narcissist, man. We're not. Nar she's a baby narcissist, and we are nar she's narcissists. We're the narcissist tribe. tribe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Be exactly. Beware of dealing with us. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, we'll gas like you're, enti you're entitled to to whatever you you know whatever you want to do. Like we all that. We everything. We God. Exactly. God is narciss uh, narcissist. Like literally, he. It's it should is way, yeah. period. Or it's which it doesn't matter what you think. Sometimes people always be blind and answering.